cobra versus hippo. The cobra and the hippopotamus are two examples of such animals that are very different from one another, but equally fascinating. The hippo is a giant semi-aquatic mammal renowned for its size, territorial nature, and strength. In contrast, the cobra is a poisonous snake distinguished by its iconic hood and lethal bite. Let's explore the differences and similarities between these animals, their distinctive characteristics, and their actions in their natural environments. Let's dive into exploring the differences between these two. Let's first make a comparison of their physical characteristics, like how they are different from each other in size, color, shape, and skin texture. Number 1. Size Hippos are among the enormous terrestrial creatures and may reach lengths of 14 feet and weigh 5,000 pounds. Conversely, cobras are relatively small snakes, growing to a maximum height of 6 feet. Number 2. Shape Hippos have massive bodies that resemble barrels with short necks and big heads. They also utilize two gigantic ivory tusks for digging and defense. Cobras, on the other hand, have triangular-shaped heads and extended bodies. When threatened, they can spread their broad hoods as a defense. Number 3. Color Hippos are a darker shade of grayish-brown with white accents around their eyes and ears. Cobras, on the other hand, have stunning coloring because of their ability to blend in. Depending on their surroundings, cobras can have varying hues of brown, yellowish green, or black. Number 4. Head Shape Hippos have spherical heads, but their characteristic top ridges enhance the surface area for muscle attachment, allowing them to quickly raise their heads out of the water if necessary to defend themselves from danger. On the other hand, cobras have a clearly triangular head, which helps them detect air vibrations when hunting prey. Number 5. Skin Texture Cobras have smooth, shiny skin, whereas hippos have thick, wrinkled skin covered with bristly hair all over their bodies, helping shield them from parasites. Well, what are the differences in their habitat? Hippos prefer warm climates, close to large bodies of water such as rivers and lakes, where they spend most of the day submerged in shallow waters to escape the heat of the sun. At night, they emerge to graze on grasses or browse trees along the shoreline. Hippos prefer warm climates close to rivers and lakes. Cobras are typically found in tropical environments, such as grasslands or rainforests, and they find everyday shelter in tree hollows or abandoned burrows. They hunt at night when their strong venomous bites can readily ambush their prey. The exciting thing about wildlife animals is what these animals eat. Let's take a close look at the differences between their diets. On average, a hippo consumes over 37 pounds, 17 kilos, of vegetation daily. Hippos are herbivores, hence their primary food source is grass. Yet, if food is short or there is rivalry for resources among herbivore species living close to one another, they will consume aquatic vegetation. Cobras are carnivores, which means they mainly eat other animals like snakes, birds, lizards, and rodents. Insects comprise most of their diet, but they also consume other warm-blooded animals, giving them the vital proteins they need for growth and energy production. Cobras and hippos are pretty different creatures in terms of their behavior and how they interact with people. Let's analyze the differences between cobras and hippos in behavior and human contact. Cobras are known for their violent disposition and may attack people if they feel threatened. On the other hand, hippos generally stay away from humans and only respond aggressively when provoked or when their young are in danger. Which venomous species is more dangerous and why? Both cobras and hippos have venom that can seriously hurt people. Cobras may inject potent venom into their prey through their fangs, making them much more lethal. Depending on how much venom is injected, cobra venom contains neurotoxins that immediately act on nerve cells to cause paralysis or death. Yet, unlike cobras, hippopotamuses lack poisonous fangs. If they decide to attack humans, their tusks offer more significant hazards because they can result in severe lacerations that could be fatal if left untreated. Recognizing one of these magnificent animals is crucial if you stumble across one while in the wild. Let's talk about how to spot a cobra or hippo in the wild. Cobras can be identified by their unique hoods and long slender bodies. 
They come in various hues, such as black, yellow, or brown, and have diverse patterns. They usually weigh around 10 kilos and grow to a length of 3 meters. Compared to cobras, Hippopotamuses are significantly larger and have short legs, big heads and eyes, and small ears. Their skin is grayish brown with some pink spots than others. What to do if you run across a cobra or hippo in the wild? Maintaining your composure and proceeding cautiously away from a cobra or hippo in the wild is essential. Avoid running as doing so could result in an attack. Stay aside if you see a cobra coiling into its distinctive hood because it will soon strike. On the other hand, if you come across a hippo, keep your distance as they are known to become aggressive when provoked or threatened. It is advised to avoid making loud noises or quick movements that can surprise either animal in either situation because doing so could make them more upset. Well, if you like more informative videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our next upload. Thanks for watching.